Hello everyone! Yung Mama Becha here and welcome back to my channel. Kung bago lang kayo sa akin channel, please subscribe, like, and click the notification bell for more videos weekly. At kung bago lang kayo sa akin channel, please make sure to watch the rest of my videos if you want to learn more on how to be successful in your online selling journey, especially sa Lazada online selling platform. I started this channel in the hopes of being able to help yung mga sellers na katulad ko and also provide information sa mga interesado magbenta sa Lazada. I have created videos in the past few months and umabot na po ito ng 30 plus videos. And as my channel grow dahil po sa inyong suporta, the comments are also growing. Nakakakuha po ako ng mga questions na paulit-ulit lamang po and these questions can be answered by watching my videos. And to help yung mga baguhang subscribers natin and yung interesado magbenta sa Lazada, I came up with this video. I have made a compilation ng mga videos na naipost ko na and will summarize it for you. So kung bago ka lang sa channel ko and dahil interesado ka magbenta sa Lazada, keep on watching. Okay, so before we head on to the screen, I will be discussing the 12 steps, your basic guide, and how you can start selling with Lazada. So, ang ginawa ko po, kinumpile ko po yung mga videos na naipost ko na, and we came up with um, 12 videos at from the start kung paano mag-sign up sa Lazada, and until the process of um, processing your order or packaging your order. Okay? So, I will be putting the link below. So, kung bago lang kayo sa akin channel and interesado kayo magbenta sa Lazada, this video is for you. Bisitahin nyo lamang po yung link na nakapost sa description ng video na to and uh, I will be putting the step 1 to 12 na process. Okay? So, let me summarize lamang po kung paano nga ba magbenta sa Lazada. Of course, bago tayo magbenta sa Lazada, we have to make sure na meron na po tayong products in mind. May na-research na po tayong products and dapat nakahanda na po ang ating mga products na ibebenta. So, I would highly suggest na dapat on hand po yung inyong mga items or inyong mga products. Okay, so paano nga ba magbenta sa Lazada? Okay, so step number one, of course, you have to have a valid email address. Okay, so in signing up with the Lazada platform, please make sure to have an email address ready and of course, a phone number. Yung phone number po, pwede po yung mobile phone number. Okay, so yung step one process natin, of course, is to sign up sa Lazada. So, eto po yung creation ng ating shop or yung ating account sa Lazada. So, yung first video natin dyan na nasa link, you will learn how to sign up and how to create an online shop with Lazada. So, yun po yung part 1. And then, we have the part 2 ng creation of our shop account. Dito naman po, you will learn how to complete the requirements. So, in here, you will see kung paano i-upload yung mga bank information, yung mga ID, and more. Okay? And then, yung pangatlo, okay, so dahil nakapag-sign up na po kayo using your email address, of course, we have to know paano nga ba mag-take ng product photos. So, I also shared the link below yung photography basic natin. Okay? So, lagi ka tong sinasabi, even in my talks dun sa uh, microseller co-op na kapag nagsisimula pa lamang po tayo and wala po tayong um, ganoon, kalaking funding, as much as possible, yung budget natin is um, we are on a tight budget and we wanna stick kung meron, kung magkano yung budget lang natin and wala pa tayong um, enough money to hire yung mga professional photographers to do the photography for us. So, sa video na ito, andyan din yung link sa ibaba, I also created a tutorial on how to take your product photos ng uh, pinaka-cheap as possible. So, in this video, I um, shared the how-to using a mobile phone. Okay? So, Using your mobile phone lamang po, you will um, learn or you can actually take a good quality pictures. 
Okay? And then, yung link number 4 natin, again, na nasa ibaba po ng ating description sa link sa video na ito. I also put there the how to edit yung product photos. Okay? So, of course, we have to make sure na kaaya-aya naman po sa ating mga consumers yung uh, tingnan ang ating mga product pagdating po ng um, Lazada website. So, I also shared here, I also created a video on how you can edit your product photos. Okay? So, you can produce good quality pictures for your shop by using this basic editing tool. Okay? And then, let's move on naman po sa ating video link number 5 is yung how to upload your products. Okay? Dahil, of course, natuto na tayo kung paano mag-picture, natuto na tayo paano mag-edit ng ating mga product. And then, sa link number 5 naman, meron tayo ditong tutorial on how to upload your products sa Lazada Seller Center. So, you have to be, um, you will be familiar in that tutorial yung paano nga yung look ng ating Lazada Seller Center and paano mag-upload ng products manually. Okay? And then, we also have, um, let's move on to our link number 6. Ito po yung paggamit or how to use the LoriKit tool. Okay? So, LoriKit tool is a tool na makikita nyo po pagka during the upload of the product. Okay? So, I showed you there the tutorial as well kung bakit importante yung paggamit ng LoriKit tool and paano gamitin yung LoriKit tool. Okay? So, let's move on to the summary ng ating video link number 5 is to upload your banners and logo. So, in this video, yung link number 7 natin, you will learn how to upload your brand logo and of course your banner. So, nandun po yung step-by-step -step tutorial natin on the how-to. Okay? And then, let's move on naman po sa ating... Um, step number 8, ito po yung tutorial on how to order Lazada packaging. Okay, so sa mga bago lang po nagbebenta or interesado magbenta sa Lazada, hindi po libre ang packaging ng Lazada. So, you have as a seller, it's our responsibility to buy it. Okay, so kung paano natin ordering yung Lazada packaging, if you're using pouches and boxes, meron din po akong tutorial niyan. So, nasa video link number 8 po natin below the description on how to order the Lazada packaging. Okay, so... Pag nag-compute po kayo um, ng inyong retail price, make sure that you also add the cost nitong Lazada packaging. Okay? So, that's a quick tip from you. And let's move on naman po sa ating link or video link number 5 is yung tutorial on how to process orders. Okay? So, um, we're able to sign up na with... Lazada, we, are, we already know how to um, take pictures using a mobile phone. And then, we, know, we already know how to edit the pictures. We already know how to upload the pictures. And the usage of LoriKit tool upon upload. And pag nagkaroon na po kayo ng orders, I'm also... Um, I have uploaded a video also on how to process orders. So, ito po yung proseso wherein paano mo i ready to ship yung orders ni customers and I'm also showing there sa video link number 9 kung paano mag-print ng waybill. So, ito po yung waybill. Kung Shopee seller kayo, um, for sure magtataka kayo, magugulat kayo na sa Shopee is libre po yung waybill dahil ipoprovide po yan ni courier na depende mag depende sa courier na nagpe-pick up sa inyo or drop off kayo. But with Lazada, you have to have a printer para mag-print po kayo ng inyong sariling waybill. Okay? So, there. And then, let's move on naman po sa ating um, video link number 10. Of course, yung how to pack your orders. Ayan. So, paano natin... Um, how are we going to pack our orders? And of course, meron din po tayong mga guidelines nyan. So, watch me itong tutorial na to um, sa video link number 10. 
that you can um, find dyan below or below nitong um, video na to. I will show you yung how to, paano nga ba tayo mag-pack ng order using pouches, using box, um, binabubble wrap ba, and I also mentioned some of the guide guidelines there in my video. Okay? So, yan. Um, and then, let's move on naman po sa ating... Um, Video link number 11, yung how to check drop locations or yung drop off location. So, in this tutorial, I provided the link para makita nyo po, depende po sa area nyo, kung ano yung mga drop off locations available. So, ito po yung pagdadalhan nyo ng items nyo. Okay? So, please take note na may dalawa po tayong proseso kasi may mga tanong tayo na kukuha na paano po makakarating kay customer yung orders ko. So, may dalawa po tayong proseso. Isa po ay drop off and isa po is yung pick up. Okay? So, let's follow the guideline kung ang orders mo po ay kasing laki po ng shoe box and hindi naman po siya kasya sa drop off box then you are entitled for pick up. Okay? So, kung paano yung pick up then na, 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 meron po tayong tutorial dyan sa aking video um kung paano mag-schedule ng pick-up. Pero, I would suggest, kung small items lamang po, and kung may malapit naman po kayo mga drop-off location, then I would highly suggest na i-drop-off nyo lamang po ang inyong mga orders or inyong mga items. Dahil, per experience, mas mabilis po ang um, drop-off kesa pick-up. Okay? So, and then, let's go to our last um video link. Ito po yung how to drop off orders. Okay, so how to drop off orders of video na to, um, just click on the link below. Again, um, ipinakita ko kung paano yung proseso ng pagda-drop off. So, pumunta po tayo dyan sa dalawang drop off location. Yung isa po sa Pera Hub and yung pangalawa is yung Shell Station. So, pinakita ko doon kung paano yung proseso ng pagda-drop off ng ating mga items. Okay, so that's it. I think this video is one of the shortest video that I have. Um, I hope na um, as I summarize the video, may matutunan po kayo and um, so andyan po yung link under um, the description below sa mga bagong seller. So I do hope na yung mga basic questions na kung na nakukuha nyo po ay uh, makuha nyo dito sa mga videos na pinost ko. Alright, and then for more information and for more um, uh, learning, you may also check my other videos like yung mga um, paano yung Lazada fees, how to um, improve your sales and all that. So, kasama din po yan. Nandiyan po yung mga videos natin sa aking channel. Okay, so, thank you so much and um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye!